Okay, so it's January 18th. But it's, my, bleh, it's January 18th. It's my orthodontist appointment. Here's the situation. Got that tad. Um, I couldn't even guess what they're gonna do today because I don't know. Maybe a new wire, maybe a new band connecting this, but we will find out. And then hopefully we'll have a little bit of a before and after with this um, canted smile treatment. I know that I've, I think I've been seeing the tiniest difference, so it might not be visible yet. But I'm gonna go to the orthodontist and then I will check back in with you in just a little bit. Okay, so literally, the least interesting uh, appointment I've had yet. Um, first off, I went with purple, just purple this time. Here's my smile, and I smile really big. I should had. All they did was uh, they just changed out the elastic threading between the tad and my upper wire. And then changed out the colors, obviously. But yeah, I will... Maybe I'll insert, if, if I have a good, if I have some good evidence of things changing, I'll insert a couple like before and after pictures here or something. But I'll see you at the next appointment. Bye. Right, yeah, that way, okay. Um, hello, it is March 3rd. I have another appointment. Last appointment was super fast, and so I'm assuming it's gonna be something similar this time. I'm not sure though, but I figured on my way there, I'm gonna set up my camera, and then I'll talk about my tad experience a little bit. Cool. That's fine. Does that work? You can see my... I don't want you to see my steering wheel so, so much. Well, yeah, that kind of works. Kind of an awkward angle for me, but... Right. Okay, so even though it is March, it is still so amazingly snowy here. It's so bad, y'all. Blizzard and stuff. Okay. Here, I'll try. Sitting over a little bit. Um, so when I look back on like almost three months ago when I got the TAD, it was like really scary at first, you know, I was kind of concerned about them like screwing a screw into my face. But when it happened, it actually was very, very easy, but it was so early in the morning that I was just like so tired, I couldn't really describe it very well. So I feel like I should talk about it again. Um. So they numbed me with a topical numbing and then they went in with a needle and did like a local anesthetic. And really all I felt was a lot of pressure. At one point he was like, tell me if you feel anything. And at one point I thought I felt something a little more than normal. So I was like, now I kind of feel something. So then he stopped and then we just went with it. And so I don't know if that's normal or if it did possibly touch a nerve or maybe one of my roots of one of my teeth a little bit because that's a, a that's a concern they had me sign a waiver because like it's uncommon but it can cause root problems with teeth um, getting these inserted and it can lead to a whole bunch of other stuff too so I just had to sign a waiver to make sure I wouldn't sue them um, but it was my choice. I actually asked for this treatment and they they were like, sure, yeah, let's go. And so um, getting that was fairly simple. I had to use like an antibacterial mouthwash for like about a week after getting it. And um, what else about it? I don't know. I've just been trying not to eat too many like crunchy chips like I, i'm sorry i have a bad habit of i still eat uh, hard shell tacos but i've been trying not to eat those so often um because the possibility of like a chip going up and like s slicing that area is like it just sounds uncomfortable and something like something i don't want to deal with so 
Um, yeah, my, I mean, my eating habits other than that hasn't changed so much. I have to keep a little, uh, I have to do a little more cleaning around the area because I have that rubber band that makes it difficult to clean. But yeah, that's pretty much it with the tad. I mean, other than, <coughs> sorry, I'm a little bit of a cold, but you know, negative for COVID, so we're good, but, um, I can't tell if there, it's really made a difference. At certain times, I, I look at my mouth and I'm like, oh, there's totally a difference. And then other times I'm like, is there though? So, I don't know. The orthodontist said that it was making good progress last time I was there. And he's like paying attention to angles and stuff of like, especially my back teeth. I feel like since my tat is so far back, maybe it's just pulling on these, the, my back teeth more, which, Aesthetically, I would like my uh, lateral incisor and my canine to come up to just give a little more symmetry. But I think I have uneven gum tissue because of my snaggle tooth anyway. So maybe what I'm looking at is more in regards to gum tissue. And I, I could get um, a procedure to, to even that out. And maybe I will if it bothers me that much in the future, but I don't know. Um... At one point, he said that he thinks, you know, four months with this tad is probably the latest I'll have because it's fairly simple treatment. Uh, my case isn't too severe. Uh, I'm just like, I want to be done with braces so much. So much. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm going to drive the rest of the way there and then I'll do a little video showing you my bite and my teeth. And then uh, uh, I'll go to my appointment and then I'll do a little update after that. All right, see ya. Guys, it finally happened. I got power chains, oh my gosh. Also, I never mentioned this. I have the Damon brackets, so all those colors were like not necessary. They were just fun. But I finally got power chains. Cause I got this gap. And so, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I wanna do a before and after with the power chains because I feel like I have a lot of little gaps and this is going to change the way my teeth look kind of dramatically. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited though. Uh, yeah, new band on the tad to my wire. And he said that it's making good progress and he, yeah, he thinks everything's going according to plan. So that's really cool. I went with a blue, navy blue because people said it makes your teeth look whiter. I always think blue just makes my teeth look more um, yellow, yeah. I don't know why I choose blue, but maybe because it's like one of my favorite colors. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Very happy. Super excited. Maybe I'll update you later about this pain because I heard that power chains can get a little bit painful. Um, hello. My hair's different. Making a video about that, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, um, so it was like two weeks ago that I had my appointment. Maybe closer to three weeks. Yeah, what the heck? It's the it's March 26th, so it was a while ago. Um, I thought I'd update you about how my power chain situation went. Um, so whew, it was pretty painful for a couple days. Um, just really uncomfortable. Like all of the teeth on this side, which is the side opposite of my tad, they were getting super. Um, like loose and they're creaking a lot and it was weird very weird um look at that that gap is closing up which is cool also i think the power chain is helping my tad fix that canted smile because i think that's a little different um Sorry, I still have food in my teeth because I just ate lunch, but um, so my bite is getting very different. 
My right, like my teeth to touch on this side very well, but I'm starting to lose that ability for my teeth to touch on this side, but that's because there's the tad up there and it's pulling this side of my teeth up. And then we're going to do some elastics to pull this side of my bottom teeth up to uh, fix that bite. And so, yeah, that's the current situation. Um, power chains, they're a little bit painful at first and it's just, I don't know, it's just kind of uncomfortable. It, you're, all of your teeth just come together. And so I feel like the back side of my teeth when I like rub my tongue across them, it just feels like just like one even plane, right? All those gaps are closing up. It just feels like super smooth. So yeah. Um, that's the current situation. I'm going to insert the before and after now because I feel like you can kind of see a difference now. It kind of seems like I still kind of have an angle, but it feels like all of my teeth is going up. <laughs> all my teeth are going up. <laughs> and so a um, little bit less gummy of a smile, which is cool because I don't like my gummy smile. Anyway, okay. Um, so I have another appointment in about three weeks, so I will do an update then and I'll see you back.